Well, I think the first thing you do is you decide, what is it I love? What do I love to do? What makes my, my word is, what makes my heart sing? And because when you get into what is important to you, you're going to be able to, to start from a place of authenticity. Now, say, for example, um, I love fashion. Okay. Then that's where I begin. I begin with either maybe diving into the world of photography so that I can take pictures of things that involve fashion, or maybe I become a designer and I start to uh, do some digital design of clothing or uh, jewelry or whatever that is, and then begin to put that in the digital marketing um, uh, arena. But it, I think it does begin with what am I passionate about? Now, some people are like, I'm just passionate about money. <laughs> I'm passionate about making some money. So then a lot of find- dough, a lot of cash. <laughs> <laughs> cash, right? I don't care what it is. I just want to make some money. So then in, in that instance, you want to find um, something to invest in. You want to find a business to invest in at that. It, 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 you, you Like, for example, I, I love this analogy. Someone can purchase a franchise, a, a, a coffee st- a store franchise. Our, the one that's big here in the, in the U.S. is Starbucks. I may hate coffee. I may not ever want to drink a cup of coffee, but I know that franchise makes money because there's a whole lot of people that have to have their Starbucks every single day. So that's the other way to jump into it. What, what, what is your, what is your motivator? And if what your if from a business perspective, if I, I want to invest in something that's going to make money, then that's what you do. You look at those enterprises or, um, uh, um, franchises or affiliates where you can begin to just generate money. It might not have anything to do with what you're passionate about or what you love about life, um, but it is a way to jump into it from uh, the the standpoint of I want a business that it can can get that, that that can produce at the end a profit. That's what you want. If you're going to jump into business, you got to be willing to say. Um, I'm doing this because I want it to be profitable. Nobody goes into business and says, yeah, I, I just want to go into business, but I don't want to make any money. Nobody says that. Nobody says that. So um, you want to make sure that when you do begin to enter into the space of entrepreneurship, that you really look into it from what is meaningful to you and what's going to um, support you, not just you, but you have, to, you have to start also looking at it from the generational side. How can I pass this down? How can I make sure this doesn't stop with me, that it goes from generation to generation to generation to generation, because that's what generates wealth. I remember at a point, I think you made mention of the fact that you need to promote yourself or maybe I get it wrong. Uh, but now here we're talking about strategy. So yeah. because you have been here for a number of, a number of years, what would you suggest are the right strategy for one to promote his, his or herself in this digital age, of course, within the era of digital entrepreneur? Well, I think that one thing you should do is you should you should not be afraid to ask questions and uh, and get help. Leverage the expertise of, of other people and um, and and connect yourself. Get you know, start start building those relationships. Building relationships is key. Uh, most people, most people say that relationship is the best currency you have because without it, you can't really go forward. So you have to really decide that you want to build relationships, talk to people, um, share with people, uh, you know, what it is that you're passionate about and just ask them, how can I get into this arena? Do you have any connections here? Uh, and, and most people really are willing to share, especially in this digital age, because they know that they can ask that same question they might need that from you. So for example, again, I'm in in the travel industry. Uh, I became a part of a company called Planet Marketing that's based in Atlanta, Georgia. And so what I do is I help people establish their own travel business as well as being able to book my own travel and to help the other people um, book travel as, as well. Everybody loves to travel where most people love to travel. Right. So, um, so how I am successful in this business is that I just share 
information. I build relationships with people. Not everybody loves to travel or wants to have a business in the travel industry. But as I begin to connect with people, I meet amazing, wonderful people like you. I I, 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 as I grow and talk with people and just share what I do with other people, I meet individuals doing all kinds of amazing things. And it might not have anything to do with the travel industry, but it simply allows me to connect with individuals. So we'll just use this experience as a prime example. You, you and I connected with a, a, a friend that lives in, in, in Ireland. I spoke with her. She she did a, a podcast of my own called Worthy of Wonderful. We spoke about uh, her, uh, what, what she does as, as a life coach. And from that, she introduced me to you. And what am I able to do with you? Because you are an individual that has a platform to help people share their business and their commerce. Now I'm able to spread that message to a completely brand new audience. Someone in your audience may say, I'd like to talk to Bukeka. And therefore it goes from there. I, you, I help someone, they begin their own journey of entrepreneurship. So it's really about building relationships, not being afraid to talk to people, to ask questions. And you're doing that for your knowledge, for your ability to grow and learn about how to enter and be a more successful entrepreneur. So if you're going to be in business, um, you, you can still be that quiet, introverted person when you go home. You don't have to get on the phone and network with everybody. You don't have to have a gregarious personality, as some people say that I have. But <laughs> you, <laughs> but you, but but if you're gonna be, um, if, if 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 you understand that it's important for you as an individual to be able to have streams of income or um, additional revenue. And it is, I mean, it just simply is in this day and age, people need to diversify in how they have revenue streams. I don't care if you don't wanna to talk to a soul, if, if economics and revenue is important for your ability to thrive, then just step out there, get out of your comfort zone and just talk to people and build relationships. And you will soon find out that that is the greatest resources that you have because people are the ones who are going to buy from you irrespective of what you are offering. No? Because you cannot produce it and consume it yourself. Otherwise, that is not business. If it is business, you must be helping somebody who is paying you for your service. So, yeah. common sense. All right. Now, Abu Keka, you, talking of diversity or diversification, you also do event marketing. Yeah. And I want to believe some people don't even know what that means. Can you please help us understand, uh, explain it? Absolutely. So event marketing is basically helping people to see what you do from an event perspective, right? So, and that's exactly you know what, what I, I love to do. I love to say, hey, come to this event. So in event marketing, you're, you're, it's not just based on a product, it's based on an experience. It's based on an experience. So what you're doing is, you're ha is, is, is if people, when people see you come to, they're coming to one event and you're providing something that is helpful and enriching and inspiring and motivating, what they wanna do is they wanna come to event, to event, to event, to event. So as a speaker and singer and songwriter, that's a very a, a important aspect of my business is, is to um, help people to see that the events that I'm having is enriching your life is, and can enrich other lives as well. It also, and this is very important in, 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 uh, in today's messaging and how we connect, it builds community. Event marketing builds community and people want to belong. That's just an inherent nature of us. We, we, yes, sometimes we want to be by ourselves, but essentially we have to understand that our, um, our ability to thrive comes from also being connected with other people in community. So I love event marketing because it really is the basis of building community. And um, and when you're doing so, you can also really stress your brand. That's very important. Event marketing is directly tied to 
your brand. So my brand in, 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 um, uh, with, with Worthy of Wonderful is a, is a great brand. First of all, we've got W-O-W. Wow. Right? <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> I am worthy of wonderful, right? So therefore, people want to feel worthy and they want to have wonderful experiences. So the, the, the events that um, uh, I create are worthy of wonderful retreats, worthy of wonderful the show, which is, uh, which is aired on my own streaming channel that I have with my husband called Fave Unite TV, F-A-V-U-N-I-T-E. TV. So I have my brand of Worthy and Wonderful, which goes on to Fave Unite TV. And now I can create live events anywhere in, anywhere in the world because I am in the travel industry. So event marketing is really exciting. And it is a way in which uh, authors, coaches, and many people who are in the, um, uh, in, in the industry of, of connecting with large audiences builds their brand through event marketing.